I know this looks like a disaster, but we are going to do something really cool. Keep watching and I'll show you exactly what we're doing today. Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we are going to be testing our magnetic hoop clip ready to use with your snap hoop. And I think this is an amazing idea. And I thought, you know what? Let's test it out. Let's do some hats on a single needle machine. I am going to be using my Dream Machine 2. So let me show you all I have going on here. This may look like an absolute disaster. It kind of is, but I'm improvising. So I have the sticky stabilizer sheets. Um, but I don't have big enough to hoop. So I had to improvise and I thought the best way of doing it was I hooped. This is no show mesh. So just a light cutaway so we can cut it out of the back of the hat. And then I just used tape to tape it down. The, the hat isn't going to take the whole spot. So I figured this would be good enough. On the other hand, if I had a snap hoop that was smaller, then I could use these quite easily. Now they're kind of nice. They're glossy on one side. And then this is a stabilizer and you can bend it a little bit and so this is the sticky part and it's quite sticky it seems to hold the hat just lovely I played around with it a little bit and when you hoop it you hoop it this way or tape it I don't know if it's gonna work but we'll see you hoop it this way in the hoop and you leave the plastic on because if you don't if you it seems like you could just take your hoop and stick it on it and then go you can do that but it's difficult to get it off of the hoop so what you do once you have it hooped is you score it make sure you can see you take a pin and you score it and it just goes through the outside and uh, then it's easy to do so if you had this in a hoop you would just score it with a pin around and then you take off the outside and then you have sticky just inside the hoop and you don't have to worry about it I also decided because I put these stickers on my snap hoop this is the 8x8 snap hoop that I'm experimenting with I thought I'd draw a line down the middle just to help me out a little bit with the sticking of it down so it would straight we want the middle seam to go down here so I just thought that would help out so this is the hat that came with this whole hoop clip system so I'm going to use that one and I picked some thread exquisite thread this one is ES995 and I picked it out from the basic color in the stack to go system which is awesome and it happens to match really well so I thought oh that'll be good and then I picked kind of a gold one the, the what I'm doing has two colors on it and I thought that would be really nice to do it like that so I mean why not and then here is our design now I printed this design from PE Design 11. Okay, all these marks in it, my printer's running out of juice, so I have to fix it, but it works well enough. And because I printed it from PE Design 11, uh, I'm able to print the snowman sticker. So if you wanted to put down a snowman sticker, you could because it's right there. So it's easy to do. And the trick that I always use for snowman stickers is that I fold it and so it's like this and you can put the sticker underneath and then this and you can get it exactly so this is really helpful having this out now this is lace from dimes my lace maker and it is it's hard to see because this is in front of it it is a monogram and i thought it would fit perfectly on my hat and look great so let's get to the business of hooping oh I got my thread in there let's get to hooping now again remember I'm improvising it is better if you have uh, enough of the sticky stuff to use because I, I just don't have it so improvising so we're gonna put our hat 
on our hoop. Now, because we have the rulers on here, we can see where it needs to be. And then just a little bit fiddly, fold the sweatband back so we don't, uh, we don't want to stitch on that. Let's go over a bit more. And now I've got my line and I'm looking underneath and I can really easily line it up. So, okay, that line is super handy. And that keeps this fabric line nice. So you just have to press it down, get rid of all the wrinkles, and like this. It's not hard to do, and you can see how sticky the sticky back is. Now, we won't be able to stitch it up to here because we have to keep in mind our needle has to go. Um, so we'll probably do it here, but let's look. Remember to rotate it when you get it. Uh, you don't want it upside down because the hat's going that way. So make sure you put it in the right way. I'm thinking I can do it right here. Now, because we've lined this up with our line, our center line, we know that this is going to be okay like this. Isn't that great? So that's easy enough. Why don't we get our machine ready? Why don't we take it to the machine and get stitching? Okay, here we are at the machine. I have this placed here, my template placed where I want it. Now, you can't trace it because tracing will trace the whole entire hoop and you don't want it to hit anything back here that where the brim is. We don't want that to happen. So don't trace it. But what we can do, um, the Dream Machine has a needle cam, so you'll be able to center it right on the design there. Or if you don't have one, then you can uh, go to edit while we're in the embroidery mode and you can simply move it. So that's all I'm doing is moving it. So either the camera or moving it. And then what you do is just bring the needle down and you can totally see it. All right, it won't do it. No. So put the needle up and we want it back just a little bit. So that is where we needed to be seen. Now, wasn't that easy? And the first color I want to start off with is that gorgeous, exquisite green because it matches the brim of the hat. I'm going to do a lot of more lace on this hat, so we'll, uh, we'll have a little bit of fun making this amazing hat. It should be a lacy hat, so, I mean, why not, right? There we go. I'm just putting the thread in. Okay, I'm all threaded. Now, I should have mentioned that you should always, for something like this, you should always trace your design before you stitch. That way you can stitch with confidence and you know that you're not going to make a mess. So let's trace it out and make sure we are okay. There, there, there there. I'm thinking we're going to be fine and I'm thinking this is going to look fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So that's really good. I like it. So now that I've traced it, I know nothing is going to hit the hoop. So I am good with that. I'm going to reset it just a little bit so it starts on the middle. And then because I moved it, I am going to retrace it again, just, just to be safe, just to be safe on it.
Okay, so I really like how that turned out. That's beautiful. If you notice, I was smack on at the corners being on the line and everything straight. So I'm going to take this out of the hoop. And because we used the sticky, all you have to do is pull it out. However, because I used the uh, mesh cutaway, I'm going to have to cut it out. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you some gorgeous pictures of it when I'm done embellishment. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Um, this is the best way to stitch hats on a single needle machine. This was easy. This was perfect. I love the position of it. It's going to be fantastic. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.